Welcome back to my channel, Women Under Construction for God's Purpose. I am so glad that you are here. We talked about who we are in the last message, but today I want to talk about purpose. Why? Because along with the question people ask when they come to know God of who they are, they also ask, why me God? What's my purpose? It seems elusive, but when we break it down, it is not as mysterious as individuals make it out to be. Let's go to God's word. What does God say about purpose? Jesus shows us exactly what purpose is. In John 1, 14 through 18, Jesus says, no one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God, and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. Here we see Jesus explaining God, God the Father and God the Son, and God in him the Spirit. This is a confirmation that God is one, but yet three distinct persons are what is called the Trinity. Praise God. Luke 14, 4 through 21 says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. This verse again explains God as Spirit, Lord, and Son. Three distinct persons, but yet one. But this verse also tells us that Jesus was showing us that he was bringing the kingdom to us. We are co-heirs to the kingdom of God. God was saying everyone has an opportunity to be part of the kingdom. If you just understand that God is the Lord over your life, God cares for you, God loves you. God is everything that you need. In Matthew 4:19, he says, come follow me. Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Jesus didn't just come to show us that there was a kingdom outside of this earthly realm, but he came to show us the power of multiplicity that comes from teaching others that they too have an opportunity to be part of the kingdom of God, to be sons and daughters of the Most High God. In Mark 10, 45, it says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. No one forced Jesus to come here. No one forced Jesus to die for us. He came of his own accord. He knew that this was the only way for us to have an intimate relationship with Christ. It was his way of giving us a choice of voluntarily having fellowship with God, the creator of the universe. Wow, that is so amazing that God wants to be our friend, be in fellowship with us. What does this mean to us? The answer is right in front of our eyes, yet we miss it. Kingdom purpose is doing what Jesus did. You were chosen because your kingdom purpose is to minister to those within your circle of influence, your families, your extended families, your friends, your co-workers, the people you interact with every day. You are to be like Jesus and make disciples. How do we do that? By explaining who God is to those around us. Our kingdom purpose is to be a walking advertisement for Jesus. Our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram pages, in the About section, under the Employment section, it should say Working for God. I wonder what would happen if everyone started a hashtag that said, Hashtag Working for God. How much attention would that get? And how many people would be reached for the kingdom of God? Lastly, we are human, and we are called to surrender our lives daily to God. Being in fellowship with God will require you to be humble, and there will be a sacrifice. Jesus died for us, yet we expect to go through life without ever having to pay a price. He gave the ultimate price. He died on the cross for our sins so that we may be forgiven, so that we may have eternal life. So in a nutshell, your kingdom purpose is to be a walking advertisement for God. Explain God to those that are within your circle of influence. 
there is a world out there that needs to be reached. The church is limited in what they can do on location. We need each other to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. People within your circle of influence are not strangers. They are people you interact with daily. Find the right moment to extend an invitation to them to accept God as their personal Lord and Savior. They need Jesus. Sometimes people do a great job of ministering to others, but this is what happens once you lead someone to Christ. Sometimes they are left to fend for themselves. Jesus said, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus did not leave the disciples. He took time to mentor them, to teach them, to duplicate what he was doing. We need to teach people that follow us to do the same thing. Whether you are in agreement with me or not, when someone allows you into their lives to lead them to Christ, you have created a follower who now needs to be discipled to be a representation of the God that you serve. Lastly, kingdom purpose requires that you serve not out of obligation, but willingly. No one forced you to give your life to the Lord. You gave it willingly. God requires that you willingly serve others as he willingly served us. That is what you call kingdom purpose. Praise God. And thank you, Lord, for those that volunteer their time for the kingdom. I want to bring this message because while the church is one way to minister to others, it is only one way and it is limited by its location. But we, as the people of God who are called to kingdom purpose, can enlarge the footprint around the world by understanding that our kingdom purpose is much more than being a pastor or a TV evangelist or even a famous worshiper. Those things are wonderful gifts and talents. Kingdom purpose is the ability to reach those that still need to be reached through the circle of influence that is increased by the use of those gifts and talents when used for the kingdom. There are people in your circle that need to be reached for the kingdom of God. I pray these messages bless you and serve to increase your knowledge of who God is. If you don't already know who Jesus is, I extend a personal invitation to you today to get to know him. He is a wonderful, loving father who desires to be in relationship with each of you. My desire is to see you transformed by the hand of God. Please hit the subscribe button below to be notified of upcoming messages. God bless you and God loves you.